Um, this week's Sedra is Sedra Truma. It's an exciting Sedra. Not one in terms of its excitement in the stories or episodes. There are really no stories this week. Sedra Truma is exciting because of the details involved in it. It talks about building the Mishkan, the tabernacle. And it's exciting in terms of seeing how much detail the Torah commands in the Torah Shabbat, in the written Torah, in the building of the Mishkan. It's one that you really have to go through with a fine tooth comb, but it's well worth it. This Shabbat, Let's not waste our time. Let's open up our Chumashim with a couple of commentators and see the real gems that we can find this week. You won't be disappointed. One of the exciting aspects of the Sedra is the building of the Aron HaKodesh. Not the ones that we have in our Shul, in our Bey Knesset, but rather ones that we saw in the, in the Mishkan, the Tabernacle's Aron HaKodesh. And what was to be placed inside? The Torah says that itself, the Torah was supposed to be placed inside the Aron HaKodesh. What's interesting is that the Torah, when it describes what should be placed inside, when it says that the Torah should be placed inside, it doesn't call itself the Torah. What it says is that the Eidut, the Eidus, the testimony, should be placed inside the Aron Kodesh. What's the idea of calling the Torah the Eidut? How do we understand it as testimony? The question is, what really is Eidut? Classic Eidut, the way we normally understand testimony, is there's a point of contention between two people. There's an argument, and somebody comes, witnesses come to testify over the veracity of one of the claims. They come as the proof. If we take that classic understanding and place it on the Torah, that the Torah acts as Eidut, that's a little, a little confusing. It doesn't really make sense so much. What is it, what's it coming to testify on? The Torah describes the Torah as a dut in terms of a dut between the relationship between Hashem and B'nai Israel. Is there ever going to be a point where Hashem or B'nai Israel says, well, we really have no relationship, and then we bring the Torah to testify? The classic understanding of testimony doesn't really fit here. Rather, we have to look for a second definition of testimony. And that we find throughout Halacha. There is a different de- definition of a dut. And that's the Eidut that we find when it comes to a wedding, when it comes to Kiddush HaChodesh. We all know that under the Chuppah, two witnesses are brought. Now, they're not brought so that one day, if the husband or wife claims that they're not married, the other spouse can bring these two witnesses and say, hey, did you see the wedding? They say, yes, we were the Eidim under the Chuppah, and we can, we can testify to the fact that there was a wedding. That's not their purpose. Rather, the Torah commands in certain situations that we have witnesses, that the witnesses establish the status whether it establishes that these two people are married or establishes that that moon is really the moon and it's really Rosh Chodesh. The two witnesses of the vehicle that establishes the new status. And that's exactly how the Torah acts as a dut. The Torah is this testimony that establishes the relationship between Hashem and B'nai Israel. If we ask ourselves, what makes a Jew a Jew? What makes us different? What makes us unique? The answer is our relationship to Hashem. And what established, what formed that relationship? It's not a special feeling that we all have inside. It's the Torah, it's the mitzvot, it's the commandments. That's what develops our relationship with Hashem. And that's the idea of the Torah acting as a dut. We take that Torah, we take the, the vehicle of our relationship between us and Hashem, and we place that in the most special place, the Aron HaKodesh. And that's the idea of this week's parsha, telling us that we should build an Aron Kodesh, we should place the dut inside, we should place that form of what developed, what generated the relationship between B'nai Yisra and Hashem, and that's the Torah. In our own lives, that, this message plays a very special role, because we always try to figure out what's so special about being Jewish, what's so special about observing the Torah, and the answer is, very simply, it establishes our relationship between us and Hashem. That's what Torah observance does for us all. Have a Shabbat Shalom.